what is up fashionistas welcome to the channel if you're new if you're not new welcome back you know me kaisha b and today is wednesday june 12th i'm about to start getting ready because my mom and i are going out to reggaeton reggaeton basically it's a live band coming out to play reggae music of course and it comes every wednesday today is the first reggaeton of the summer so we're going to that tonight it is 5 29 right now and it starts at 7 and lasts until 10 so we're gonna see what the vibes are i got a couple outfit options laid out right now i know what i'm going with though but i need to share with y'all something give you a little update because i have someone for y'all to meet and yeah Okay, so let me tell y'all the story. My mom and I, it was just two days ago, I was driving back home from work, and right before we get home, we see this car drive by, and there's like a little something on the ground right by it that's almost getting hit. And it turned out that it was a kitten. Yes, so we were driving by, I saw a little animal almost get hit by the car, Cause she was out in the road and I was like mom that was a kitten and she was like it's not a baby and then we stopped went into the little parking lot right where she was at and it took a little minute to get her because she was very scared I, I could imagine because she was about to get hit by a car and so we're both trying to get her um, then she runs into the woods for a little bit but then she comes back up and we're like mm -hmm. I'm meowing out I'm meowing out her I'm like meow and like she's getting closer and closer so it just took a probably a good five minutes probably ten minutes to get her but it was so worth it the thing is I've been wanting a kitten I've been telling my mom I was like we need a kitten she's like no we don't we're good with one cat and I'm like no we're really not but I've been wanting a kitten for so long and I really didn't think I was gonna find one because it just seemed like it wasn't gonna perspire to the way that I wanted it to and my mom was like are you still wanting a kitten and I was like yeah and this was before we found her I just really felt like I wasn't gonna find one but yeah we found her and her name is pepper there was a few options that we were going through at first it was like cinnabon or like cinnamon because she looks like a little cinnamon swirl throughout her hair I was thinking Leo or Leo kind of because she looks like a little wild cat ash was another one that I was thinking of for her but Pepper seems to be very fitting or Blitz because she keep she kept running from us the other day and hiding behind the oven so yeah I was gonna name her Blitz I used to work at an ice cream store and Buckeye Blitz was like this peanut butter chocolate ice cream and I was like she kind of looks like chocolate peanut butter you know something she didn't look too dirty when we first got her either so she had to have been like well taken care of or like in a home but yeah, she was just out in the street. Take a good look. Say hi. She's warming up a lot each day. As she started getting food from us, she was like, oh, okay, I'm cool with y'all. We locked in. We locked in. <laughs> but she is super sweet. She's climbing up on everything, jumping up and stuff. If y'all remember the white cat that I showed y'all, I think he's been in one of the vaults. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we gave him to my brother. So that's his cat now and then my mom has midnight so I was like I don't have my own cat I don't have my own kitten besides that point I am about to start getting ready I'm doing a little half up half down hairstyle with the little barrel twist because these locks are getting kind of old now so the parts are starting to part a little bit the outfit is really cute as I told you I'm gonna be looking like a little cream sickle it's a really lovely day we're finally getting into that ease into actual spring weather slash getting into summer weather just a tad but the high is like 85 83 or something so yeah I'm gonna enjoy it y'all seen this hairstyle on me a couple of times I'll insert a little picture of what I'm talking about I will catch up with y'all after after I'm done while we're here just wanted to talk to y'all because I don't feel like I really updated y'all much on what's happening in my life or you know what's been going on you know know what I've been up to 
challenges, decisions, new things, plans for the summer and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and share a couple things with y'all. Not much has really been stirring lately as far as like doing summer things and whatnot because I'm telling y'all when I work, when I tell y'all I've been working probably every day, literally like today is one of the rare occasions where I'm off from both of my job so that's been encompassing most of what i've been doing lately it's all for it's all for you know being able to do being able to travel and stuff like that but shat i've been working like a grown woman child get somebody else to do it it's been on grind mode been on save mode and that's really all that's been happening i mean i've been going out um as y'all see in a few vlogs of things that i've been doing it's just major decisions as far as like when school comes back around is what i need to talk to you all about because many people already not many people but it's kind of been a here and there type of thing but a few people know many don't it'll happen in due time I'm trying to make sure that i'm making the best decision for me at this moment it's very hard to know that i'm doing the quote unquote right thing because how do you know you're doing the right thing until you do it you know how do you know that was the right decision until you make it that's just life you make the right decision for what you know what you feel in that moment and that's all you can do like don't put too much pressure i guess this is all to say when it comes to decision making don't put too much pressure on yourself to make the right for the best decision because you'll only make the best decision for yourself that you know how to at that current moment <laughs> what has been going on i mean you know i've just kind of been living life here and there um i've been going out here and there trying to experience i guess the little nightlife situation and getting a vibe for the city and meeting people that's what i've been about lately is just being open to meeting new people and starting conversations with people and asking them questions mainly creatives because if you step outside you just never know who you'll meet and what will transpire out of that i mean sometimes it's not always about networking or building that business relationship sometimes it's about learning a lesson in life and you know sometimes those encounters won't always work out or like be your best experience but the thing is you try so that's really what i'm opening up more to lately and it's just been a little you know it's been a little bombastic side eye for a couple situations but hey you go through things you learn things and it's it's because I'm noticing things about people way earlier on than when I was younger you know I'm still young of course but like when you're a kid kid it's like when it comes to people sometimes you just are a little naive to things or give people the benefit of the doubt or you overlook some things and now it's like i'm immediately noticing the signs and kind of reading people to a sense and i don't think they like that <laughs> i don't think they like that i can read them but that's not my fault people will tell you about themselves without having to ask them a thing forget oh tell me about yourself i mean i guess that's a good question to ask but it's like child you don't even really have to ask that anymore nowadays people will quickly and unmistakably remember that they will unmistakably tell you who they are the first time i've been getting out having a little fun here and there that's all i'm trying to do is i don't know what's going on with my neighbor's dog but it's kind of concerning yeah, we're just going to keep on having an open mind to things and being open to new opportunities and experiences while being safe all in all because I don't know what's been going on these past few days around where I live at. But last night, um, my mom and I were driving home and like right up the hill from us in another apartment complex, there was about six, seven police cars all lined up with their lights on and it's like, oh my gosh. And on est prêt. Here is the lift. Nous sommes prêts. What's she saying? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're about to head out. Neon, it's like 7.02. Yeah, we're about to head out. Hey, check. Mom's got a chain, then a gray bodysuit with some 
with her guest purse and some flippy flops, guest flip flops. And what I'm wearing is this little crisscross halter top from Old Navy. I got these shorts from the thrift store in the men's section. And then y'all know what I did with my last outfit. I put the necklace around my belt loops. So that's what I did again. And then I got my mom's sandals. And then I'm gonna be carrying this purse that I thrifted as well to highlight the coolers. And I'm gonna have some rings too, but I gotta wash my hands first. So yeah, we'll see y'all when we get to Washington Park. A viento. But I've been coming down lately cause I've been torn yeah. uh, Man, I swear to God, in New York I had my 40 Money got my bank roll enormous Just like Norby, girlfriend, yeah So big that the dead got a dead God damn, let me talk my shit, shit. Hold up, let me talk my shit
<laughs> I guess you're taxing.